What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute chest and triceps push circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our chest and triceps focused workout. You're gonna need some dumbbells today and I also have my bench out here. So if you wanna bring yours in, feel free for things like chest fly, chest press, and some dips, okay? So the dumbbells that I'm gonna be using today are gonna to be for the lighter exercises like tricep kickbacks, all the way up to the heaviest exercise will be a chest press. So for me, that'll go anywhere from 10 pounds up to 35 or 40 pounds. Okay, so if you're ready, go ahead and grab your water, grab your sweat towel, thumbs up, and we'll cross it right over here in two, one, let's go. Great job. And just try to lift your chin off your chest a little bit. Open your chest, look over to the left and the right. There you go. Three, two, one, good. Just the left hand, big circle backwards, reaching your fingertips back behind you. Good, take it right across your chest and open, just a single arm still. Great job, and then take it right up beside your ear. Just bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Good, this will open up our lats, get our elbow used to moving. Three, two, one, good. Let's switch arms, take your right arm, big circle backwards. Great job, two. One, same arm crosses your chest and open. Great job, I'm really excited for this strength workout with you. It's literally a push circuit, but I want you to push hard today. Okay, take your arm up beside your head, bend, straighten. Okay, so we're focusing on your pushing muscles, the muscles that take your body from a bent position to a straight position. Two, one, great job. Both hands go back and overhead. Good work. Three, two, one. Amazing. Grab your hands right behind your back. Open your chest up. Great job. And then take both hands up over your head still together. And let's just bend. Reach down, thumbs to your back. Good, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get into our first exercise. Just an activator exercise, so a little bit lighter than you would normally do for a chest fly, but we're gonna do a chest fly and a straight arm pullover. Okay, we'll go in 15 seconds. Let me show you. I'm gonna use my 10 pound dumbbells. Again, we're just waking the muscles up. So we fly, come together, reach, pull back to the sternum. Okay, ready? Let's go. Big open and reach. 30 seconds right here. Great job. Eight, seven, and rest, good. You've got two more rounds of that. Just feel free to roll your wrists here for a second. 15 seconds rest, okay? Just warming up, getting your body primed to move. Three, again, two, one, let's go. Great work. Last 15. Three, two, one, and rest. And one more time through. Same thing. Roll your wrists if you need to. All right. 
last time through. We go in five seconds, dumbbells up, big open here in the chest for me. Two, one, let's go. Great job, take your time, just get your muscles warm and ready. Internal body temperature is starting to heat up a little bit. 10. Great work, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, we're coming up for your chest superset. We're gonna start with two exercises. Okay, we've got a chest press and a chest fly. Three rounds of each one, chest press, chest fly, press fly, press fly, okay? 30 seconds of work. I'm gonna start with my 30 pound dumbbells. Okay, so come on down. Let's go in eight. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and here we go. We've stepped up in weight, but your chest muscles are awake. So just make sure you're taking your dumbbells around your ribs. Great job. You got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, good. All right, now we go to chest fly. So I'm gonna go from my 30 down to my 15. Okay, and we go in five, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Good, keep it right around your chest too. Make sure you're not circling around your shoulders. A little bend in the arm. Good job. Eight. There you go. Two, one, and rest. Good, you feel your chest physically getting warmer? <laughs> okay, me too. Grab your chest press weights. Round two of chest press. All right, here we go. Five, four, two, one, let's go. Good work, stay stable in your shoulders too. Don't wiggle around at the bottom. You take it down and then straight back up. Five, two, one, good. All right, back to your fly. Okay, this can be the same weight. Maybe you add a little intensity. Push it up if you can. Two, one, come on. You're doing great, let's go. Open, squeeze. Ten seconds, come on. And then we've got one more round of both. And rest, good job. Whew. All right, 30 seconds rest here. Grab that next heaviest set of dumbbells for your chest press. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds of rest. Add a little bit of time to breathe. Grab some water and I really want you to push hard here. Okay? Whew. All right, let's go in six seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, stay strong. You're almost there. Give me 10. Four. 
two, one. Whew. All right, 15 seconds. Let's close it out right here with your chest fly. Great work. Whew. All right, four, three, two. Come on, let's go. Last round of flies. Great work. Six, five, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Come on down. Whew. All right. So chest superset done. Two exercises there. We move on to three exercises for your triceps, okay? Don't necessarily need your bench unless you wanna do a seated tricep overhead extension, but our next move will be here, okay? Seated or standing, same thing, okay? If you need a little bit of help with your core stabilization, I would first make sure you're working on that core strength, but if you need temporary help while you're doing that, you can have a seat, okay? And just make sure you're seated on your sit bones and not here, anteriorly rotated, okay? So we'll start here, exercise one. Exercise two, left arm, kick back. Exercise three, right arm, okay? So let's go for our overhead extension in seven. Ready? Three, two, one, and we're off. Here we go. Good, elbows stay pointed to the sky. Nice work. 15. There you go, nine, eight, Three, two, one, great work. Kick back, single arm. You can also use this bench for stabilization, okay? I'm gonna start with my, le or my 10 pound dumbbell, left hand. Let's go in four. Pin your elbow right here, relax the shoulder. Let's go. Good job. Two seconds to get up, two seconds to come down. Perfect, 14. Keep the elbow up. 4, 3, 2, great work. All right, same thing as I almost trip <laughs> other side, okay? And then we'll breathe, go right back to overhead extensions, okay? You're doing great. Here we go, 5, 2, 1, elbow up and push. Good, appreciate this strength. Make sure you're not swinging and make sure you're not releasing without control. Fifteen, good job. Nice flat back, don't lift your shoulder to your ear, keep it down. Three, two, one, great job. Overhead extension. Round two, if you can go up, I want you to try. I'm gonna go up as well. Okay, we go in seven. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, come on. Fifteen. Eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Same thing, here we go. Left arm extension, right arm extension. Make sure when you're pushing, you're not doing any extra with your wrist and you're not dropping your elbow. Keep it here. Ready? Let's go. Nine, 
Nice work, 15, come on. Keep it up, flex at the top and then release slow. Good work, four. Two, one, good. Same thing, other arm. Now we're at the right side, the end of round two, okay? Then we'll go one more time through all three. If you can jump up and wait, let's go. All right, right arm. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. Good, keep it strong and stable. Good work, 15. Eight, seven, good. Three, two, one, good, there we go. Okay, one last round through. How you feeling? Do you wanna sit down? I'm gonna go heavier. Come on, let's go, seven seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Great work. 15. Seven. Three, two, one. Ah, good. All right, last round. Single arm kickbacks. All right, let's go, let's go. Four, left arm first. Three, two, one, push. Nice. Fight for it to stay up. 15, good job. Eight, seven. Push, 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 push. Four, three, two, one. Good, the other side. 10, nine, if you wanna go up heavier, let's do it. Ready? Come on, keep the elbow up. Flex, flex, flex back here. Two, one, come on. Nice work, come on, flex. Slow release. Keep your core tight so your chest isn't opening and spinning out. 10, nine, come on. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Whew. All right, tricep circuit done. Shake your arms out a little bit. All right, we're moving on. I'm gonna put some of these dumbbells back. All right, grab a quick drink. Thank you. Okay, so I'm bringing the bench back in for myself. It's gonna be a tempo single dumbbell press. Okay, so you're keeping your hands here. One, two, one, two. See how my elbows glide right along my ribs? Okay, so we're gonna do that with one dumbbell. Feel free to hold it by the handle with both hands together or holding it by the edges. Either way, you've got a two, two tempo. So one, two, one, two. Okay, you wanna hold it long ways? Doesn't really matter, totally up to you, but there's no stopping at the top or at the bottom. Okay, so let's go there in five seconds. Three straight rounds here. Two, one, all right, let's go. One, two, one, two. Good, up, down, up, down. There you go, just keep it moving, keep your elbows in close. Nine. Good, keep it moving, nice and steady pace. 
two, one, and rest. Good. If that felt good and you want to go heavier, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to go up as well. And like I said, you can hold it however is comfortable to you. Two, one, let's go. Good, right down to your sternum. Elbows go down beside your ribs. Good, 12. Four, two, one, and rest. <laughs> oh, you got one more round. If you can go up, let's try it. Arms might be shaking. Don't be confused. Shakes are not always failure, okay? So let's go. Two, one, push, push. Good, if you're shaking, stay steady. Stay in control. Good. Ten. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. All right. Whew. Grab some water and we're gonna go into a single arm fly circuit where we've got three rounds of each arm. Okay, single arm chest fly. All right, I like to keep the single arms three rounds of one arm and then three rounds of the other. So grab two weights that you think if you're gonna go up, you'll use this next weight and we'll start with the lightest one first. So for me, I grabbed 10 and 15. If that's five and 10, 15 and 20, grab two weights that you think one's good, one is gonna challenge me, okay? We're gonna start with our left hand. So feet are on the ground. The other hand can be here at your chest or flat by your side. Just make sure when you fly to the side, you're not rolling with it, okay? So let's go. Left arm, two, one, here we go. Good, bring it right back over your chest. Great job, eight, seven. Two, one, great job. Stay here or go up, it's your choice. Round number two, same arm. I'm gonna go up here. Okay, we'll go again, six, five. Two, one, come on. Also, don't forget to engage your core. So hips and shoulders, ribs, everything stays level. Good, connect with that pole. Let's go, 12. and rest good you've got one more time same arm if you want to go up let's go up and then we'll switch sides a little 30 second breather in between switching okay here we go last round left arm two one let's go fight hard to keep everything level Nice. Also fight hard to not let your elbow bend when you get out here and pull in like this, okay? Keep it long, squeeze back up top like you're trying to get your elbow back over your sternum. Two, one, and rest. Whew. 30 seconds, breathe, grab water if you need it. We're going over to the right arm. Same thing, 30, 30, 30. All right, here we go. I'm starting with my 10. Stabilize, lay it down flat. Hand is at your chest or along your side. Three, two, 
One, come on, right arm. Or the other arm that you were resting just now. No rush here, no rush to get out to the side. No rush to come back in and do whatever form you can come up with to get it there. Good form always. Seven, six. And rest, good. Go up or stay here. And by the way, if you go up and you feel a lot less connected to the actual execution of the exercise where you feel your chest pulling, go back down. I'd rather you feel the muscle working than just say, okay, I'm technically moving this heavier dumbbell in the way that I should. Ready? Let's go. Great work. 10. Two, one. Great job. And one more time through. Whew. Then we'll move back to some triceps. You're doing great. All right, arms up. Ready? Four, three, two. Last round. Let's go. Great work, come on, feel it, feel it, feel it. 13. Four, three. Rest. Whew. Great work. Okay, grab water, shake your hands out. I know you've been gripping dumbbells for a good while now. Grip strength could be tired, so. Fling your hands out for a second, like flicking water off your fingers. And we're gonna start back with skull crushers. So laying flat on the bench or on the floor. And you can choose to do this one with two or one dumbbell, okay? So if you're doing two, it's gonna look like this. Hands are gripping here neutral, okay? You're gonna go right back beside your ears slash top of your head, straighten back up. Okay, if you're using one dumbbell, holding it by the edges or by just the top part, same motion. Bend, straighten. Okay? So, let's start together. After that, we're gonna go straight arm pullovers. Okay? Here we go. Two, one, come on. Great work, 10, nine. Two, one, great job. Now, take that same dumbbell, okay? You're just gonna go straight arm pullovers. So straight back, pull right over your chest. Okay, you can hold it long ways or vertical like this. Ready? Let's go. Big reach and big pull back. The objective here that I want you to focus on is keeping your elbows relatively straight, flexing the tricep. Ten, nine, three, and rest. Great job. Big deep breath and we go back, same thing. 45 seconds here, okay? Extending your time just a bit. Let's go in four. Two, one, and we're off. I'm gonna keep my same dumbbell, okay? Since we're extending the time, that is a form of progressive overload. In this case, you're keeping the same weight, adding more reps. Great job. 20 more seconds, come on. <sighs> 10, 
10. Two, one. Great job. 15 seconds rest. And then we're back to the straight arm pullover. Great job. Rest your arms here. Let's go. Straight arm. Three, two, one. Come on. Good, strong triceps. Beautiful. Last 15. Six, five, Two, one, rest. Ah, okay, 30 seconds rest. And you've got one more round. Evaluate, can you go heavier? All right, if you wanna try, go ahead and try it. You've got your dumbbells right beside you and we're working for 45 seconds. So, if you need to go and try a heavy dumbbell and you think form's not great, you wanna drop down, 45 seconds. You've got plenty of time to take five seconds to drop down if you need to, but I want you to try. Okay, let's go, three, Two, one, come on. Great work, 15. Five, two, one, and rest. <laughs> Good work. Okay, 15 seconds, last round, straight arm, pull over. Ooh, that felt heavy doing that body weight demonstration. <laughs> okay, ready? Two, one, let's go. Big, strong pull. Feel the stretch. Keep the same elbow angle, then pull back over your chest. Great job. 15. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, grab water. Hopefully your arms are feeling good. All right, so here we go. Dips and standing flies. Okay, superset, push to finish. All right, so dips can be on your bench, they can be on the ground. Either way, you're taking your elbows from bent to straight. Standing flies are going to be alternating. Okay, so you're coming from wide, cross. Okay, right here. And if you would like to add some uh, intensity to your dips, if you're on the bench, feel free to put your heels on top of some dumbbells. Okay. Just get your feet off the floor, adding, basically adding more weight to your arms. All right, we'll go in 15 seconds, and you've got 30 seconds of work here. All right. So if you're here, make sure your dumbbells are even. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, 30 seconds. Six, 
seven, six, three, two, and rest. Good. Shake your arms out. Standing fly. So chest and triceps in one circuit. Ready? Open it up. Think of getting your pinky across. Three, two, one. Good flex. Great job. I gave the metaphor last week of imagining these dumbbells have elastic bands on them and they're strapped diagonally to the walls behind me and we're pulling away from the wall. Five, four, three, come on. Two, one, rest. Great job. Two more rounds of that same exact circuit and we've made it. That is it. Okay. So come on down. Whew. We go back to dips in three, two, one, come on. Good, don't let your shoulders cave forward. Okay, so if you're getting down here and you're scrunching like this, it's hard on your shoulders. Okay, keep them up. Three, two, one, ah, rest. Great job. Back to the flies. If you can go heavier, let's try it. Come on. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Big pull. Fifteen. Good job. Five, four, two, one. Great job. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep these here and do those last round. Whew. All right. Let's go. Last round of dips here. Push yourself however you can. Two, one. Let's go. Nice work. Come on, come on. Eleven, ten. Three, two, one. And rest. <sighs> All right, last round. <sighs> Standing flies. Great job. Here we go. Four, three, two, chest up, cross. Close your eyes if you need to. Make sure you're not bouncing. Good job. Come on, come on. 15. Three, two, one. Drop one of those dumbbells. Hands on both ends. You've got a 30 second isometric squeeze right here. Ready? Five, four. Push through. Three, two, one. Go. Good. Fingers are facing the top right now. Good. Go ahead and flip them down so they're facing the floor. Drive, drive, drive. 15. Push away and pull, come on. 10, nine, push. Eight, seven, drive through. Six, five, four. Push, 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 three, two, one and breathe and you have made it to your cool down <laughs> amazing job grab water stay standing we're going to cool it down standing don't leave yet okay big deep breath in arms up overhead grab onto your left wrist 
pull over. <sighs> Great work. I want to make sure you feel good tomorrow. I want to make sure your recovery starts now, meaning you get stronger starting right now. All we've done so far is kind of damage those muscles, create those micro tears, push you physically and mentally. Now the growth starts. Go ahead and switch arms. The way you eat helps your recovery, helps your strength, helps your muscle definition. The way you sleep helps all three. The way you think about fitness adding to your life instead of doing it to undo something or take away calories or burn calories or sweat more. The way you think of fitness also impacts your results, okay? Open your hands out to the side, reach. Good. That's it. We don't work out to damage ourselves or to punish ourselves or to undo things that we've done. You're living life. Fitness is adding to the value of that life. Great job. Hands together. Push them up to the sky. Bend right here. There you go. Keep your elbows pointing up. Should feel a good stretch in the triceps right now. Straighten it back up. Grab onto your fingers and just lift and pull here a little bit. Always remember, fitness is adding value to your life. Okay. All right. Amazing job today. As you pull your fingers underneath your elbows, stretch out your forearms. Remember, keep adding value to your day. Work out with me. I'll be here for you each day. Okay, we need these strength workouts. We need upper body, lower body, cardio and core. We need all that. I'm giving it to you in a way that is so strategic so you can become the best version of yourself. Okay, stronger, more agile, more fit, whatever your goal is. The way that we're working out is treating the wellness and the strength of your body, keeping you injury free, keeping you athletic, and making you challenge yourself to be better every day on the mat. I want you to go do the same thing outside of the mat. Okay, how can you look at your day and say, how can I crush it harder? How can I do more to add value to my life? Okay, and I'll be here for you tomorrow. Make sure before you head out today, you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye everyone.